Oh yeah, that's how all these are. It's just a whole lot of build up. And oh! Welcome to another episode of Ultimate Bucket List and I'm here outside of Zero Gravity Park in Dallas, Texas and this place is famous for a few rides. It's a thrill-seeking amusement park but for one ride in particular, the drop. So when you drive up here, it kind of looks a little bit like a construction site and when you look at the rides themselves, they don't really look like that much. But don't let that fool you. The first one I kind of went on kind of looks like a catapult, a slingshot. You've probably seen this in like fairground rides. I know there was one in Daytona Beach that I didn't go on. So I decided to give it a go here. time to kind of go for the drop the one that I actually came for and boy I wasn't expecting that so this is it the world famous world's longest freefall drop from a crane basically they put you into a harness and this rather fetching lacrosse helmet they lower you through a hole in the crane and without warning they pretty much cut the rope Evil bastard didn't even finish his sentence. That was a Superman one. Uh, and once again, when you're down here, it doesn't look like anything, but especially when they winch you up and you realize just how high you are, that's pretty scary. And the fact that you have to pull your own ripcord to let yourself go is scarier still. Now they've got a small bungee jump here, it's probably one of the smaller bungee jumps in the world. You only fall for about one, one and a half seconds. But when you get up there, you, you instinctively don't want to jump. That's... And that's pretty much what happened. I'm trying to jump here, but nothing's happening. And then I just decided, you know what, just go. <laughs> and I just lost my shoe. Fantastic. And finally, the one that looks like a giant fairground ride. Yep, it's that one. And uh, to be honest, I got told by the staff here that this one is by far the worst one in terms of the actual G-Force. And admittedly, I didn't think it looked like much. Okay, it's kind of like a fairground ride. why I kind of look dizzy and kind of not talking straight is because of that ride. I'm still relatively dizzy from that. Okay, just leave me hanging here. It's pretty cool. Okay, what's going to happen? What's going to happen? As you can tell from my mouth being locked in the open position and my eyes glazing back, yeah, I'm in trouble. Um, yeah, I'm actually on the verge of throwing up as I'm talking to you on camera, but I'm a professional. I will try and narrate this as much as possible, even with the screaming people on that ride behind me. Yeah, that one. In honesty, I'm feeling a little bit hosed, as it's not the cheapest thing in the world to do, 
I mean, each ride is about 40 bucks, but if you decide to do all five rides, it's 80 bucks. So obviously you're gonna spend that little bit more money in getting the five rides. But if you want their video footage as well, that adds an extra 50 or 50 odd dollars to the amount. So overall, I ended up paying about 130, give or take, dollars uh, for all five rides, uh, the, the, the five video clips that you've just seen, um, and this t-shirt, this uh, rather oversized t-shirt. It's located here in Dallas, Texas, or just outside of Dallas, so, yeah, uh, guys, I, I don't know really what to say, mainly because I'm still on the verge of throwing up, but if you like this sort of thing, come here, give it a go. Um, I feel, like I said, I don't know if it's just the sickness talking, but I feel a little bit cheesed off that, you know, I wasn't able to use my own GoPros, even though I have the relevant mounts and wrist straps and they weren't gonna come off. Um, you know, they, 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 they didn't wanna know, so it, it, it's cool, it's cool. If it's not in the rules, it's not in the rules. I'm not gonna get these guys fired just because I want to record them on YouTube. My justification is that every ride out there has an option to strap a GoPro, when, whether it be on the helmets or the wrist, and they charge you accordingly, which, you know, that, that, that's what they do. They gotta make money, they're a business at the end of the day. If you have enjoyed this video, please be sure to like, share and subscribe. Comment on the comment section below, let me know what you thought of my reactions and if you've got any other bright ideas for bucket lists, feel free to sweet them at me. And if I get enough of them, if I get enough suggestions, I will go ahead and do it. So guys, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you in the next episode. These rides, you think, meh. And there's a plane passing overhead, so I'm just, I'm just gonna wait until, you know, it stops ruining my audio. Thank you, Southwestern Airlines. Don't envy them right now. Got a whole bunch of